Attenborough? Uh-oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the s*** out of me. Get my name out your f***ing mouth! Has society become so easily offended because we're so deeply insecure? Self-deprecation is the key to comedy. I'm not a part of this cast, overrated. I don't even know these people. <laughs> I really don't. And to be honest with you, I have no connection whatsoever with this show anymore, Lawsuits. In fact, <laughs> I have not seen Lauren Michaels in like four years, Restraining Order. And quite frankly, <laughs> it takes everything I have to stay up this late right now, coked up. So once again, <laughs> recapping, I am no longer on this show. I'm off doing bigger and better things now, Hollywood Squares. I guess you could say... <laughs> That I guess you could say I moved on, Trailer Park, and that's good. <laughs> Comedian and actor Kevin Nealon joins me now. Hey, so Kevin, you really purposely accentuated the self-deprecation. Was that kind of the key to your success in those years? Um, I think so. I think so. And I'm still using it right now, pain in the ass, because it's what I do. <laughs> Very good. I mean, it's changed. You don't hear people do that anymore. Everyone's so gentle, not only about themselves, but about other people. What's happening? Um, well, I think at award shows, um, first of all, hosting the Golden Globes is a really difficult job, especially when you have 10 days to prepare. And I think uh, Joe Coy <laughs> had some really good jokes. I love I loved the Taylor Swift joke. But apparently she didn't love it so much. And I get it because, you know, she's not doing well these days. And, <laughs> yeah. you know, to take another hit like that, I get it. But, I, you know, I don't even I, – I, I know she's at the game, the NFL games, but I, I, I didn't know she played uh, football at all. So, you know, <laughs> uh, it's, it's one of those things where I think people have to lighten up a little bit. And, you know, even Will Smith, he, he had a little courtesy laugh before he ran on stage. <laughs> right? You saw that. I mean, it's even shocking watching it for the 17th million time. You have a history of the world in six glasses. It's now available on Fox Nation. What's going on here? Oh, it's a great show. I hosted it with Dan Aykroyd and Jim Belushi and George Wendt and John Lovitz. And uh, we basically we talk about uh, the uh, the libations that have kind of t had an effect on world history, everything from coffee and tea to wine and beer, uh, soda and spirits. And um, each episode we talk about we take one and we talk about it. It's uh, it's it's interesting. It's a, it's a really a fun show. And uh, and it was fun hanging out with Aykroyd, too, and, and exchanging uh, little quips. Were there any libations involved in SNL? Uh, and SNL, yeah, there were a, there were libations near the end of my run. My <laughs> friends would come to the show. This is how I knew it was time for me to leave. I would go out on stage, you know, out in the set to do a sketch, and I would still have food in my mouth from the craft service table, and I'd be picking it out of my teeth. And then my friends would be in my dressing room, and I could almost hear the blender as they were making uh, margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's when it's so that time. Was a, that was the alcohol. That's <laughs> there yeah. you go. Well, <laughs> Kevin, we're going to be watching. Uh, any advice for me dealing with Greg Gutfeld? I mean, talk about pain in the ass. Um, I would quit. <laughs> that's what he told me that to do too. To deal with him. Yeah, that's exactly the same <laughs> advice he gave me. All right, Kevin, we're yeah. going to check it out. Fox Nation, tell Ackroyd I said hi. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.